right, as you can see, there's standing water. This tree, this looks just like a brick edge, but as deep as can be found is a concrete base. And the landscapers uh, that I just met with, the foreman and the manager, uh, we went up and down here with probes trying to find weep holes in this concrete. Even without the weep holes, there's no penetration beyond this concrete. Clearly this is saturated. They overwater this place to keep the azaleas happy. Um, you can see that all of these lace bark elms, or they call them drake elms, uh, Chinese elms, are staked and guide. Um, they did not have them pruned for weight and wind sail reduction in accordance with the ANSI A300 support system standard. And now we're back here to square one. And I told them if you want to engage on the fool's errand of uprighting this tree, then they need to bust out this wall. And they need to do a root invigoration procedure all the way out to within two feet of this curb in order to create a root zone for root growth so that this tree can stand on its own. And if you're going to do that to this one, then you're going to need to do it to all of them. This is, this is going to be the second exercise in futility. The first one being the installation of this guying system in the first place. Um, this is this is a major design flaw. Drainage needs to be a accounted for here. I don't know if there are rain sensors, but we've had quite a lot of storms, and the irrigation just keeps running like clockwork. And so the uh, price you pay to make sure that the azaleas get enough water is that you compromise the lace bark elms. Every single one of these lace bark elms needs to be pruned, structural pruning, weight reduction, and uh, crown thinning to reduce the wind sail. They all need root invigoration. They all need this, this beautiful and aesthetically pleasing uh, edge removed. I walk in here and it is absolutely spongy. My feet, this is the highest, driest point and my feet are sinking in. Um, so again, here's the tree. Probably should be more like 30% weight reduction. I would push the limits with this tree when it comes to weight and wind sail reduction, I'd push the acceptable limits with this and all the other trees.